What's up, YouTube? I got my X01 guys to remove the motor. If I could change the pinion on this guy here, you will have to remove your tire, you will have to remove your shot from the shot tower. You don't have to take it off completely, and you also need to remove this um vent it goes right here this vent goes here all you gotta do is take one screw out pull it out and it'll come out guys so right now pretty loose yeah Guys, this is a stock pinion. This is a 14, 14 tooth, 14 tooth pinion, mount one, guys. Compare this little pinion to a uh, 34, 34 tooth pinion, guys. Check it out. Look up, look up big compared to this 14 tooth. So that's all you need to do, guys. Remove your tire, remove your shot from your shot tower. That little piece that I showed you, this right here. And you should have easy access to uh, remove your motor from the motor mount. Now I'm gonna use a little blue, uh, blue thread lock. Yeah guys, you see, no problem. It fit in there perfectly fine. Nope. Uh, move it a hair more. Just a hair. A little hair and that's it guys and then I'll tighten it up.
Guys, these um two screws that was on top of the mount, the mount is not plastic, it's aluminum. It did not have thread lock. So just to make it secure, you know, for the vibration or whatever, I'm gonna put just a tiny bit of thread lock on it. Now the XO1 is all ready. First pass I did with the 14 tooth pinion on it, stock, unlocked. It was about 61 or 60, I'm not too sure, I don't remember. But yeah, now it should do the 100 miles per hour with the front lip and the, and this pinion. Put the wires back in the PSC. Shot towel right here. And guys, we ready to go. guys the 34 pinion tooth is on so you already know guys if you have the x01 you need to change the pinion gear on the motor all you need to do is remove your right rear tire your right shock from the shock tower and this piece right here and you should not have no problem removing my video like all my videos don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out